Hello everyone, welcome back to Bioinformatics with BB. I'm Dr. Babajan Banaganapali, Associate Professor in Bioinformatics. In recent days, the evolution of AI has created a huge impact on our daily activities. The new AI agents can now handle many web-based tasks like sending emails, shopping online, and searching for articles. Almost every web-based search method you can think of can now be done with an AI agent. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and run the free web UI tool on your Windows computer. And if you have DeepSeek installed locally, even better, you can run everything smoothly right on your machine. There's been a lot of buzz about OpenAI's operator that lets an AI control your browser. But it's only available in some countries and mainly for pro users. So what's the alternative? The web UI tool is a powerful option that lets you automate many daily web tasks easily using a free API key from Google. Let's see how we can set this up step by step. First, make sure you have the latest version of Python installed. Open your terminal, whether you use PowerShell or Command Prompt, as the commands may differ slightly. Next, visit the Web UI GitHub repository and follow the instructions provided there. I suggest creating a folder on your desktop for this project. Use the git clone command to download the repository. If git isn't installed on your machine, simply download the zip file, unzip it, and open the folder. Then manage your Python environment with the UV package. Visit the UV website, follow the Windows specific instructions, copy the command and run it in your terminal. Once UV is installed, activate your virtual environment and install all the required dependencies from the requirements file. Don't forget to install Playwright 2 as this helps everything run smoothly. If you already have an API key, 
open the .env file in your favorite text editor and add your key along with any other settings. This step is optional, but very useful. After setting everything up, launch the application with the final command. The web UI tool will open right away and be ready to work. To so use the free API key, go to Google AI Studio and click on Get API Key from the sidebar. Once you have your API key, head over to the LLM configuration section in the Web UI tool. Choose your provider, either Google or Gemini, and select the appropriate model, like Gemini 2 Flash Exp. Paste your API key in the designated field and click Run Agent. The tool will then open your browser, navigate to Google, type OpenAI, and even perform a search automatically. If you prefer not to use an API key, you can run the tool locally using a model like DeepSeek. In a previous video, I showed you how to install DeepSeek on your computer. Do check that out if you haven't already. Open your terminal and run the command olama list to see the models installed on your machine. Then, in the LLM configuration section of the Web UI tool, select OpenAI as your provider and paste the exact model name from your terminal. Click Run Agent and let the tool handle the rest. Remember, running a local model may need a good GPU, so sometimes it might take a few minutes. Now, let's see the tool in action with a real example. I will show you how to retrieve the nucleotide sequence for the human IL-10 gene. The tool will automatically navigate to the NCBI database, select the gene database, choose the human IL-10 gene, click on the FASTA format, 
adjust the sequence position and display the faster sequence. It's a smooth and efficient process that saves you a lot of time. The web UI tool is very versatile, my friends. It can help you with gene sequences, sending emails, online shopping, booking flights, and many other tasks. I'm excited to show you more of its capabilities in the coming videos. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more simple, practical AI tutorials, please like, share, and subscribe to Bioinformatics with BB. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss an update.